guys, and welcome back to the Christian channel. My name is Claire McCallan, and I wanted to have this guest on so badly that I went out of my way. I'm in the DMs. I'm begging these people to come on our show today. So I'm so excited to say that we have director Mitch Hudson from the Promised Land series here with us today. Mitch, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here. So I found you guys on Instagram totally organically, and it's so great when the algorithm works like that, right? Yeah. It's absolutely like about these things but i found you guys on my leisure time so yeah. i've been describing you to all of my friends because i'm so excited about your project the promised land i've been describing yeah. it as a mix between the chosen and the office does that sound fair yeah. it does yeah exactly we've we've got the style of the office with the same goal of bringing the bible to life in a new way that the chosen has and I did a little research on you before we got in here, and you actually were an AD on The Chosen. Is that correct? That's right. Yeah, I actually still am. I'm currently, oh, uh, we're currently filming season five. Yeah. We have a night shoot tonight, so I'm going in in a couple hours. That's yeah. awesome. And where are you calling from today? I'm calling from Texas, from uh, Dallas, Texas. Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, well, now you know, guys. Jesus is alive in Texas. He's filming down <laughs> in Texas. <laughs> That's right. He's here. <laughs> <laughs> so was this your idea, this uh, series? No, actually. So this was a this is brought to us by our associate producer. So her name is Sydney, and she had made a as her kind of like college short film project. She had made uh, a, a short film that was basically this idea: it was let's do Moses, but with the with the with the office style cameras and all that, yeah. right? Our other producer uh, Jeremy Crouch had found that. Like, oh my gosh, we could totally make a show out of this. And he and I worked on other things together. So he was like, "Hey, do you think you could?" make a TV show from this short film concept? Like, is that a thing that can happen? And uh, we worked together and, and and found a way, yeah. I mean, even just the clips and you guys, your social media team has done such an incredible job. It clearly drew me in, but the clips look really high quality. I mean, this is, you really, you pulled off something special here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We borrowing a lot of scenes and equipment and costumes with The Chosen. Yeah, actually, great question. So The Chosen has been instrumental in kind of helping us pull all this off. They, as someone who works on the side of The Chosen, I obviously have a good relationship with the producers and with Dallas and with everyone there. And so when I told them, hey, we're going to film this pilot, uh, it was the fall after season three of The Chosen. I said, hey, we're filming this pilot. Is there a way I could rent some of the tents and costumes, anything like that? And they were like, yes, let's go. So we loaded up a truck full of all the kind of production design elements and costume elements and took them out to New Mexico with us to film. Uh, and then, yeah, we just, we were, we were incredibly blessed to have the crew that we had out there. A lot of the chosen's uh, department heads, their production designer, costume designer, uh, makeup designer, all of that came out and helped us on the promised land too. So they're the ones to think for how good it all looks. It shows. I mean, it is a really high quality yeah. production and it looks like something that you'd watch on Netflix, but it's actually available on YouTube instead, right? That's right. Yeah. The pilot episode will be out on YouTube on July 1st. Until then, it's just clips and reels that are going out. But on that date. That or will that be open to the public? Say it again. Broke up. Love to purchase that or will that be open to the public? It'll be free for the public. You guys I mean, can just click it and watch it really exciting this excel accessibility factor that's been happening obviously we're living a really exciting time of a boom of christian media but mm -hmm. it's really cool that it's going to be on youtube because people are going to have such access to it and your virility yeah. abilities are through the oh my gosh it's just awesome okay so the question i've been dying to ask you though here we go because there might be some feathers ruffled you're not doing anything irreverent you're not doing anything blasphemous but people sometimes when you mix religion and humor can get a little bit mm -hmm. tested yeah. I think it's fine. I think it's a great evangelization tool. Do you yeah. think, though, for those people at home, our testier audiences, do you think that God has a sense of humor? I do think that God has a sense of humor. Absolutely. I think I think it wouldn't exist without him, right? I mean, all things exist because of him. And I think, yeah, I mean, the humor in the show, what's important is that in the show, our goal is to make it clear that God is still God and people are still people, right? And what's funny is not... It's not God that's funny. It's not us saying, oh my gosh, how funny is it that, you know, God did this or God did that. What's funny is the people that he used, right? And so when we make jokes in the show, the, the basis of all the comedy in the show is about how people can make mistakes. People can get their feathers ruffled. People can do all kinds of things, but God can still use them, right? So that's kind of the, the basis of our humor for the show. 
And I think that people will recognize the comedies of their daily domestic lives reflected in something as epic as the story of Moses and the chosen people. And hopefully this will give people in the comedy a chance to connect those biblical characters that sometimes can feel so far removed from us, right? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. There was nothing, that, you know, God God just chose Moses. You know I mean? He chose him for a reason, but it's not like he couldn't choose any of us too. It's just he... he chose those people at that time. I think the point is that God wants to have that relationship with all of us, right? And so it's not that Moses was anything special that, oh, well, we couldn't be anything like Moses, right? It's not true at all. A lot of us are a lot like him, right? And that's the whole point. So we want to make these characters feel relatable, people that we could know and people that we could be if we were in, you know, some of these circumstances. What does it feel like, I guess, between The Chosen and now The Promised Land to be on a Christian film or television set? Is that different from your experiences in secular media? Uh, what are the positives of that experience? Yeah, I mean, I think at the end of the day, like it's always great when you work on a project that is good, right? You want to work on something that's entertaining, something that's well made, something that's either funny or emotional or whatever it is. But I do think that when it is uh, Christian entertainment and anything kind of faith based like that, it does have that extra element of feeling like the work that you're doing is actually important. Like it's not just going to entertain people, but it could also have a good impact on their lives. And I think that's, you know, it kind of transcends the the daily work that you're doing, you know? Amen. Amen. And thank you so much for all of the work that you've done. Okay. So July 1st, the Promised Land series premieres on YouTube. How else can people support you and your work in this project? Yeah. I mean, right now, the best way is just to follow along on our pages, follow our YouTube, follow our, our Instagram or Facebook, and just get involved with what we're doing. You know, all of the all of the reactions that we've gotten have been so exciting to see people commenting and responding to it. It's all fun. So the more of that that we get, the more exciting it is for us. Uh, and then also, we will have uh, Promised Land merchandise coming soon. So if you want to wear the Moses t-shirt or the Zipporah hat or whatever it is, we'll have all that coming out soon as well. But no question. Uh it's awesome. Mitch, yeah. thank you so much for your time. We can't wait to watch the Promised Land series on YouTube on July 1st. Thank you so much and God bless. Thank you.